We're gonna play crescent rugby. We're gonna play for each other. We're gonna trust each other. And we're gonna go fucking kick some ass, boys, all right? Yeah. I'm Stephen Webb. I am a grade 12 student at Crescent School. I am a part of the Crescent Varsity Rugby Team, and I'm also on the Rugby Canada U20 National Team. I mean, it's definitely tough sometimes, you know, being in grade 12 now, um, managing my course load, but, um, you know, it's always just, you know, really finding that time and having your priorities. So for me, it's always uh, education first and then sports second. So, you know, if that's if it's times where I have to miss a practice because I have to study for a test, I'll, you know, make that sacrifice. And yeah, it's really it's really just knowing your priorities. And the school has done a great job, um, you know, helping me um, and all their athletes, you know, balance the, that workload, um, especially in my position right now. Um, in these next two weeks, I have to really do all my exams and final projects for the year as I'm gone during the exam period. And the school has done a great job in terms of talking to my teachers, you know, moving my exams around and really catering it to my schedule. And um, yeah, they've just been very supportive and uh, yeah, just very good to work with um, throughout this time. So yeah, it's definitely a bit of a challenge with the amount of rugby that, um, you know, that I have. But um, you know, it's, it, again, it's really just, it's really just, um, you know, really setting your priorities. So for me, it's, it's definitely balancing the three aspects of, you know, having at um, school, then it would be sports, and then also having a social life, right? You know, you need to have a good blend of those three elements to, in order to be happy in life. My long-term and ultimate goal is to become a professional rugby player, wherever that is, either in North America or in or overseas. Um, you know, it's just, it's really just, you know, staying, keeping my head down and, you know, just working, you know, just doing, doing the extra work, you know, coming into training every day and, um, you know, really just putting my head down and uh, doing the things that I need to do. And, um, and also in the gym, you know, obviously staying consistent, always getting my lifts in, and um, you know, just always, obviously just managing my health as well in terms of what I eat, rest, recovery, sleep. So, um, so yeah. Last year, um, I tore my meniscus in LCL during April. And that took me out of um, the school season for the rest of the year, and that's um, you know that's obviously something that you know really I guess you know really took a toll on me. You know I was really excited for that in my grade 11 year, and uh, just really just losing that that losing that year due to injury and the, and you know being only back in July, um, you know it was, it was something really hard and you know that, that I had to endure. But you know that's something that you know it's something that's going to happen, and it's just you know really just pushing forward and you know just keep. Uh, you know, staying positive and, you know, just doing rehab and, you know, doing all the right things. And then, you know, I ended up back up on the field in July and, uh, and yeah, the rest is, uh, you know, the rest is history, you know, all healthy and uh, here I am now. I'd say my biggest mentor so far, there's definitely a new, like a numerous amount of uh, people I can, you know, attribute this to, but I think the biggest mentor that I've had so far is my brother. Um, you know, I can remember back when I was probably 13 or 14 years old and he was around you know 15 or 16 um, and he just you know made the commitment that you know he wanted to pursue rugby and he just dragged me along with it you know taking me out to you know go to the field you know getting in the gym you know getting the work in and he's someone that's always pushed me to you know push me to my limits in terms of my potential and you know he's just always the one that's been uh, you know pushing me uh, you know giving me I guess uh, he's always just been the one that's motivating me and you know, just to you know, if I wanted to succeed, he's the one that's always just you know pushed me and always just um you know helped improve my skills, you know, giving me feedback and stuff like that. And uh, and yeah, I'd say he's definitely been my, big, my biggest mentor. For me, it's just rugby. I always look at it as just a, as everything just as another rugby game. You can do what your what your role needs you to do. So it's really just you know, really it's it's really just you know having that confidence, but also um, you know this, this little techniques can just you know being some breathing techniques, you know having some superstitions. That um, you know, prep you that prep you for competition. So, uh, so yeah, those are just some of the little things that I, you know, that I do, and that I would you know, recommend to, to other people that are looking for that. So.
Uh, some advice I'd just say is, you know, just have fun. You know, just have fun in whatever that is, uh, whatever you choose to do. Uh, just really enjoy it, you know, especially as a, you know, especially as a young person. You know, just, um, you know, try, try a bunch of different things. And once you really have your mind set on it, just, you know, enjoy it, and all, but, always, uh, but always keep working hard, you know, because that's ultimately what's going to, you know, help you achieve your, you know, your dreams is always keeping that, you know, staying disciplined, always working hard, and, um, you know, staying consistent. So, so yeah, those, those would, I guess, be my advice to, to people.